Now to that warning from the White House, prepare for Russian hackers. This says a new report details the cyber vulnerability at schools, and that report is giving credit to a recent CBS 13 investigation. If it were not for the efforts of investigative reporters like you, uh, we would have known even less. So what's the risk to students and what's being done to protect them? CBS 13 investigative reporter Julie Watts is getting answers. Hey guys, we kicked off the school year with an investigation that identified a troubling trend. School districts hiding cybersecurity breaches from parents and students. Now a new bill aims to address the issue, something experts say can't come soon enough. If they have all your information, then they can do a lot of bad stuff in your name. While most kids understand the risk of a cyber attack, they can use it all the dark web. Turns out their schools may not. Fallout from the massive Toledo Public School data breach. From Toledo to Texas, there are reports of student information from breaches now available on the dark web, where kids' information sells for a premium. An accounts being opened in their kids' names. Because their clean credit histories make them ideal targets for identity thieves. We reviewed more than 100 cybersecurity incidents at California schools, including nearly a dozen recently reported ransomware attacks. But when CBS 13 asked 50 local school districts about their policies for tracking and reporting cybersecurity breaches, only one out of 50 confirmed it actually had a policy. Investigative reports have allowed us to learn about many incidents that never had previously become public. Doug Levin, director of the nonprofit K-12 Cybersecurity Information Exchange, tracks publicly reported cyber attacks, but says most schools never report them. You know, there's a lot of evidence starting to emerge that school districts are actively seeking to avoid disclosure. If it were not for the efforts of investigative reporters like you, uh, we would have known even less. This year's annual K-12 cybersecurity report, which cites our investigation, reports a decrease in public reporting by schools, often leaving policymakers, other schools, and the victims themselves in the dark. The parents, the students, the educators, they're kept in the dark, and so they can't take the steps they need to take to protect themselves. California tops the FBI's internet crime report for total victims and money lost, and we're among the top three states for school cyber attacks. Yet the California Department of Education tells us there is no requirement for schools to report ransomware attacks to either state or federal entities. And while state and federal laws do require schools report certain breaches to the victims, we found many don't due to lack of enforcement or loopholes. For instance, one local district, which didn't report two recent attacks, told us it only notifies families based on advice from its insurer. The insurance companies should not be the ones making that determination. Well, now a new bill may ensure that moving forward. AB 2355 would require school districts to report even attempted cyber attacks to parents and the state's cybersecurity agency, which would then create a database ensuring law enforcement, lawmakers, and families I think there should be a law. are no longer in the dark. Now, Congress is set to receive a federal K-12 cybersecurity report in April. We will stay on top of the proposed state law as it advances this session.